Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dad Deck, and today we're playing some more satisfactory experimental alternate mega base series. I do need to get into the habit of saying that. It's a bit of a tongue twister, I know, but screw it. It's what I'm going with. Right. We've been faffing about for the last few episodes. We need to get going properly now. Yeah, screwed that one. Um, anyway. Last episode, we went and got all of our wire... Oh, I thought I'd be able to make that. Our wire upgraded. So we've now got four lines of wire coming in. And actually, I decided, because we're not going to be using reinforced iron plates that are now one per second, and we're not really going to be using... Um, what's it called? Actually, yeah, stators. That's what I wanted to talk about. The alternate recipe for... Uh, not status, sorry, rotors, is steel and something else. I don't really want to do that because it means then I'm going to have to bring the bus backwards. Why is this one here? I don't know. But I've got enough screws now because um, I'm not using them for the iron plate. So I'm actually just going to use the original recipe for this. So like I say, we're not really using rotors for much at the minute. If it turns out we've got to use them more eventually, I will go and swap it back round. But not today. Not today. So, we've got our eight machines that we want. Because we want to get one per second. The one iron plate line coming in is more than enough. And two lines, we just want it basically. Um, yeah, we are going to go between each machine. Uh, four machines is one line. One, two... Three, and this will be the last one. So you can go there and there. Was I doing it too high? I don't think I wanted to. It does clip. I think I'm actually okay with it clipping like that. It's a little bit terrible, but, you know, it'll be fine. So we're going to throw all... Grab the right side. It's actually been a fair few days for me in uh, recording this. It was actually the 10th the last time I played this. It's now the 13th of May. So, um, yeah, I've had a bit of time off. I've not done any of my homework between episodes. <coughs> so I do need to kind of get on with that. But um, for now, it'll be fine. So we want splitter and... Come on, line up. That looks fairly aligned. Now, is it going to let me do this? Because it normally says encroach in others' clearance. Oh, have they fixed it? Encroach in others' clearance is the splitter underneath. You've got to do the top line first. Yeah, we're just going to use the bottom lines because these are machines that basically do things once and then they're done. I know that makes no sense. Once we're full of these, we're not going to need to make more yet unless the recipes further down the line need them. But we'll deal with that when we need it. Because we know we need wire further up. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. If we just do this. In fact, we need to get the lines all across the top first. We don't need these splitters all too high. But I'm going to do it anyway. And... Are we going to bring you down there? I think we are going to bring you down there, yeah. Why not? So let's get all of our lines in, then we can get the splitters in, and then we can finish up reinforced iron plates. That didn't take long, did it? We'd set most of it up last episode, so um, it should work out. And then we go in the middle, and in the middle. And we'll still get one in the middle, just for uh, symmetry sake. And then you go into there. Um, you need sorting out as well. Kind of forgot about that one. And oh my god, we can play straight onto that. It's wonderful news. So, in you go. In you go. In you go. Come on. Yeah, I've got lots of homework between episodes. I want to go out and get all the beacons hooked up. I do want to go and get the um, quartz hooked up that I found, which is absolutely years away from us. I do wish it told you a distance on there, but it is miles away. We will um, get that coming in soon. But I don't think we need it right this second, because I want to still keep upgrading everything at the minute. We'll get to it, don't you worry. We will get to it. You can go in there. And you can go in about there. And you can go in about there. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Job is a good one. I don't know if I've actually got all these recipes set up right. We'll have to have a look in a minute. I don't remember going and sorting them out. But I guess we'll see when they either start producing or don't. Yeah, if I'd have known all the alternate recipes before I started, maybe I wouldn't have done steel where I did steel. But I don't want it coming back on the bus. Although it is... No, it's not being done downstairs. The steel pipes. To me, this looks like we've not got the recipes set up properly. Oh, we have. How about you? Yeah? It's just the wire's a little bit lacking. We are going to need more copper, because I haven't actually got the full amount of um, copper coming in that we need to get the full bouts. I'm fairly sure, if I go back and look, um, it's not going to be a full, full bout, unless it's all backed up that much. But to me, that is already one reinforced iron plate per second, which is wonderful. I've got to sort all the sky rail out as well, because that's all a mix mash and not in the right places. We've got to shuffle all this back as well, which I probably should have thought about before I started recording the episode, but never mind. Oh yeah, we don't use copper anymore. Uh, duh. Anyway. Anyway, I don't know which of the iron lines isn't 100%, but it is 300, and most things are backed up, so I think we'll be fine. I do think we'll be fine. As these machines get filled up, the next one will fill up, then the next one, then the next one, then all will be golden, and we don't actually need that many reinforced iron plates anyway. So, <clears throat> let's sort that out. All is good. I think today we're going to be looking at the... Um, the rotors then. So let's just go and cut all this off. And yes, this is going to hurt. Owie. Just cut you back. Cut you back. And cut you back. And that's a Mark III belt anyway. You guys don't need to go to there anymore. I'm not even sure if these are meant to be here. I need to sort out all of these lines as well. Because they're not the um, nice six that I want. But because them lines haven't moved yet, I don't think I'm going to bother. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just cut this out as well. Let's cut it all out and start fresh. <clears throat> In fact, I want to clear the system. So, if I go and clear, like, a full row's worth of rotors from my stockpile, it should be able to empty the machines out, so I'm not going to end up with a massively overflowing inventory, which I'm apparently already managing to do. We don't want those. Apparently I had Mark III belts there. We're nearly at full Mark IV. I wish there's a way to just clear out one row, like holding shift or something. I don't want to delete all of them. We just want enough cleared out so that all the factories run through. I'm fairly sure that'll be more than enough. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright, let's get back down then. And then we can start working on the rotor redesign. It's not going to be massively redesigned like, but in fact, you know what, while we're up here, let's let that sort itself out because we're going to need a bit of time between it. Let's just sort all these out. Iron ingots. Um, I need copper ore and iron ore. And not to fall down there. Would have been nice, wouldn't it? Need to sort Caterium out as well. I don't want it there anymore. I want it between something. I'd go out over that edge, but I don't think that's going to be ideal. You know, foresight is a wonderful thing. Just give me a stack of that. And let me work through this nightmare. And a stack of that. I don't know why that gave me 101. But anyway, let's go. So we're not actually using copper for anything anymore. I guess it's quite nice. At some point, I will swap all my spelting round to the one iron, one copper, but... Not yet. So that's that upgraded. I'm sure I had an alternate rotor thingy-majig in here. Did I chuck a hard drive in here at the end of last episode? Yes, I did. Alternate blueprint enriched coal. Much more efficient. Effective. Blah. A much more effective alternate for coal. Hmm. No. I've not even got sulfur coming in yet. So I guess we'll go with this. I mean, that number looks hideous, 9.375, but 
I guess we'll take it. I believe I'm completely out of hard drives now. I'm sure I am. Uh, no hard drives in there. And no hard drives in there. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I don't want those modules there. Good. Right, we can go back down now. Uh, now, we've got more research to do. What am I on about? I will get a grip in a minute. I need to get back into the swing of this. Um, let's just go and grab a stack of quick wire, Caterium wire, whatever. You. Whatever. Everything in the base near enough has stalled out now because we are just full on everything. Which is good for when I get going with the new builds further up and upgrading the, com well, the computer the system and, you know, the wires. Well, actually, I think I did the circuit boards fairly well. We'll look at it when we get there. Just bear with me. And get gone. And, well, you know what? Why not? Inflated pocket dimensions. Is that a repeatable one? No, it's not. That's a shame. Um, I'm not actually going to set that because I don't want it in the top corner yet, but we've done quite well there. Let me just go and get another stack of computers and another stack of heavy modular frames because I always like to have a stack of everything. As you can see, I've even got a stack of staters on me now. Just because. And at least this will get the factory working again. Because it does use most of the components that we are making. Right. Background to rotors, they should be done there. The line looks empty to me, so that's a good sign. It is a good sign. I can't wait to sort this sky rail out, so the uh, places... The things are actually in the right places, sorry. <clears throat> it's a bit skew-if at the minute. Uh, stupid. We made it. Stuck the landing. Have you guys not actually been putting anything through? No power! You imbecile. That's going to take forever, isn't it? Well, no. And these have all got power shards as well. Is a reinforced iron plate still going well? Let's have a look at their efficiency rating while that clears through still. 100% efficiency just what I want to see. 100. I'm only going to check the first four. Why are you only 91% efficient? There's no reason for that. You're getting more than enough resources. I assume it's just not calibrated it properly because it's not made enough. Yeah, 91% efficiency is wrong. How about this one? See, that's 100. So why are you only 91 It's all Mark IVs. Eh. I think it's just a, a calculating issue. Let's see if it goes up this time. And yes, I am just buying time for the rotors. Yeah, you can go away with your 91. I know that's 100, because there's more quick wire coming... Uh, more wire coming in than is actually needed. They're going to take a little while. Can we start building? Um, gap. Yeah, we can start building. So I want screws coming in on the back side of it, which would be there. And we are going to need all six lines coming in. And just so I can check, there are no screws going further up the base now. So all screws can be consumed here. Two, three, four, five, six. And then machine will be there, and then we'll go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to look a bit of an eyesore. I'm not going to be doing what I did with the reinforced iron plates one per second original episode. <clears throat> with all the, um, the, the balancers, as I was calling them, because that wasn't really working out properly. Why does that belt look different? It is all Mark IV, but it's just got a different surface. Never mind, never mind. All right, screws all want to come into here. Yes, two, three, four, five, six. And these look like they should reach. 
In you go. It is going to be a bit of a cluster something. But it should be okay. We've still got no clipping. Not real clipping anyway, like I had before with uh, belts just crossing through each other. None of that um, nonsense anymore. It's not how we do things anymore. We've got our little dips. Do I need rods continuing any further? Not yet, but they are going to here, so I might as well leave them going to here. What was coming out of this one? Cable. And we're not actually using it any further up. Not yet, anyway. Well, we're set up for all of these things continuing further down. Anyway, let's continue doing this. Just while the um, rotors finish crafting. And then we can start moving them all back. And then we need to do the math for it. And see if I can work out a decent way of it all um, doing stuff correctly. And there you go. Are you guys em Oh! Clothesline myself with a belt. Right, you've not got enough screws now, so yeah, we can start taking all of this back out. God damn it, the Mark 3s. We're going to end up with a load of steel, and I'm not doing these legs anymore. I think the belts look like they're supporting it themselves. They've got enough balancers and stuff around them. Balancers? I meant stackers, but close. Keep your eye out for any um, chests on the ground, and try not to make any. In fact, my inventory is monstrous now, so we should be fine. I love the fact that they put that inflated pocket dimension thing in. I'd love to be able to get that another time, if at all possible. Um, yeah, we'll take this out. It all... See, I've got horrible belts like this everywhere. I don't want it anymore. Might as well take that whole section out, because it's all moving backwards. We've nearly cleared it out. I am going to have a problem, because I'm going to have to move all of those uh, ramps coming up. And most of the things from this point have all got ramps coming up, because it's all materials that come from the underbelly. It's fine, we'll get to it and we'll deal with it. Luckily the steel is already done, it's just we've got to relocate it. The steel pipes might actually be one I do off camera, because I have already done it once, and I'm only going to be doing the exact same thing, so... I don't think there's any point making you guys watch that. In fact, I might shuffle both of these up off camera. Although, no, I can do this one on camera. It's this one that I don't want to do again. Because it's already working properly. Anyway. Anyway. Let's just do this for now. And we want our assemblers. So, that's line two, that's line one, and then this will be where the assembler comes in. I think that's where it needs to be. So it overhangs both edges. Have I done the other ones? That one overlaps at the front. And then I've got constructors further back. Doesn't seem like you can get them perfectly centralised. Let's have them overlap at the front slightly then. <clears throat> well, actually, let's look. Because we can either have it there or there. It's not going to line up properly either way, is it? Let's go like that then. Good. <coughs> right. Stutter. Um, alternate rotors are steel and wire. That's another reason I don't want to do it. Because I'd have to get more wiring. And to get more wiring, I've got to build another floor up. It's easy enough, but my main concern is steel coming backwards on the bus. So I'm not doing it like that. We're just going to stick with rotors, unfortunately. So, for one per second we need 10 machines, yes? 450 divided by 18 is 25 machines, that is fine. 450, well actually no, let's do it the other way around. 132 times 10, why do you need a calculator for that, is 1320. What's that, just three lines? Actually, that is just shy of three lines, because 450 times 3 is 1,350. So, three lines in. I mean, I have got, like, six. I 
I don't need six, it would seem. Um, how many lines would one machine take? It's all right. The calculator will keep coming out quite often now. 450 divided by 132. We will call it three. It is 3.4. But I'm not going down that route again. So we'll have one line for three, one line for three. One line for three. And then it's kind of going to work. There is a way I could do this. I think it would look messy then. Alright, so we don't need all these lines coming in. We only need the three. And the belts can't decide what colour they want to be, apparently. I wish they'd at least do it in a nice, even order. Ah, oh, dear. So, yeah. Anyway, other things. What have we got to talk about? We're on Monday the 13th of May. So, I have actually got the episode of Game of Thrones to watch. I've not watched it yet because I wanted to get recording in before work. I can't wait to watch it. It's going to be a good episode. I know it. I'm off tomorrow though, so um, more than likely going to watch it tomorrow morning. Because why not, right? What else did you need? Sorry? Iron rods. Ah, that's where we needed iron rods. And you can actually come straight into there and then into here. And you're going to have to go on that line because we're going to need the dipper. And in you go. Into there. Into there. Into there. Into there. Wow, that is awful. Evidently. One space incorrect. I was going to say, didn't I do the same thing with the screws? But apparently not now. Right, so we've got the resources coming in that we need. Let's get our factories in. One, two, we need ten. And get them the right way around the first time, please. Three. Four. Might need to extend the foundation a little bit. Five. Six. Just a little bit. Seven. Eight. This would be nine space, ten, and then walkway around. I know what I can mention a little bit. Attack on Titan. Don't know if anybody's interested in it. Watch the new episode of that yesterday because it comes out on a Sundays. Oh, that was a cracking episode. Oh, it was a cracking episode. Absolutely. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to mention actually anything about the episode because I hate spoilers. And if I spoiled it for somebody else, I wouldn't be impressed with myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How did I count that wrong? Is there something wrong with me? And ten. Then we want to walk around space. <clears throat> so there we go. I don't like this one just dipping in the middle, but the cables aren't getting much longer than that either, so um, never mind. You know what, I am very tempted to just bring four lines in for the sake of it being actually 100%. If I bought one extra line in, I could actually merge them down. Let's just see, is this one up to 100% efficiency yet? It's not this one, it's the next one. It should be, it's stalled out. There we go. Lovely. See, if I'm calling it one per second, it kind of needs to be one per second, does it not? Stupid. That's still not what we're after. What am I doing? There we go. Good. <clears throat> right, we need to do it in the correct order. So we want rotors and rotors. I didn't just cancel that for some reason, did I? Nope. Get all the rotors in. Hmm. I actually know what I can do. And then it will be 100%. Three lines, all essentially, if I say merging into one, you'll see what I mean. I've got an idea. Um, that will fill it because that'll be three and a half, seven, and then ten and a half, technically ish 
they are rough figures. But, oh, I'm so glad that snaps now. It's wonderful news. I think it always did. I'm sure I remember saying, oh my god, it snaps. Anyway. And when I say snaps, I don't mean like um, Thanos. I love watching, by the way, um, like fan theories about stuff that's going to happen. I have my own fan theory. Apparently, right, and this isn't a spoiler. Apologies if you do find it a bit of a spoiler, but now we've finished uh, stage three with um, uh, Avengers and, you know, just the Marvel Universe. Stage four is coming now, apparently. And stage four is Galactus, or involves Galactus, from what I've read. I, it's nothing like concrete. I've not read it from the Marvel website or forums or anything. It's just stories that I read that pop up on Facebook. So apparently Galactus is coming. And from what I understand, I'm not one of the people that used to read all the comics and everything. Um, apparently he's got like dimensional power and stuff like that. As in he's well overpowered. And I'm fairly sure he can go to other universes and stuff like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I see a way in which he's going to bring Iron Man back. Or a different Iron Man. As in, like, an Iron Man from another universe sort of thing. I don't know what to think about that. Because Iron Man is my hero. Love him. Um, I've had this argument with uh, the supervisor at work. His favourite's Captain America. I say he's boring, he's old, he's got no superpowers. To which the reply is, well, Iron Man's not really anything without his suit of armour. Does it sound familiar? It's the argument they actually have in the movie, is it not? Yeah, yes it is. I don't know why I'm doing three, because I probably don't need three, but you'll see. One minute. <clears throat> we need to get all the lines in first, and then the splitters. Um, but yeah, I don't I, I don't think I'd like that. I think Robert Downey Jr. played the part absolutely flawlessly, to the point where, you know, I just think he's amazing. I mean, I've seen him in Sherlock Holmes, and obviously... There was um, the joke about um, Robert Downey Jr. and, what's his name, Benedict Cumberbatch? I've probably said that wrong, but uh, apparently there was the joke about one of them saying to the other, no, Sherlock, you know the saying, I am missing out the swear word there. But uh, that never happened. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think I'd like another Iron Man. I don't think I would. We are putting the lines in just so I know what's happening. Well, so I can get the splitters in and then I can deal with things after that. Am I going to run out of encased industrial beams? I do hope not. Like I say, just go all the way to the end and then we're going to sort it. Now, this is similar to the idea I tried before, but it's slightly different in my head at least. Before, I don't think I had stackers between every machine. I was going to say, that's not looped around the back, has it? That's not what we want. And yeah, these aren't all going to stay like this. Don't you worry. Alright. So. Three machines per bell. <clears throat> so we'll want splitter... Splitter and splitter. And then this line is going to keep going. And you're going to merge. Because what it's going to merge is the line from above. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, ma, 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 ma. How about if I split her there? I want it from this one, please. Why are you not letting me do that? I say that's where I want it to come from and go down. Because then whatever's left over from here keeps flowing, which won't be much. And then the full belt from there comes down. Is my thinking. 
So then I'd like to get rid of this and this. This may look a bit of an eyesore, actually. Then you can come down to there, so we don't need all this up top. It's alright, I probably should have done this with the uh, naked belt, so I didn't keep picking up all of the screws. Um, I've got far too many rods as well. Don't need them, don't need them. Just leave it for now, the inventory's not a problem. We've got 77 thingy bobbies. Power shards, oh my word. So you can split there. You can split there. I'm not bothered about the clipping from the splitters. And you can split there. Then you need to split there. I did the merger in line with this one, didn't I? <clears throat> I don't like that they're different colours. Maybe that's because of the paint gun. I have actually got the paint gun on me. I just don't want to swap items yet. Because then I've got something in my hand and I've got to drop it. <clears throat> I know, it's horrible, isn't it? So we don't need these anymore. So this last one is technically going into four machines, but we have got the um, remainder being carried from the first two sections. So technically, this should work, should it not? Again, like I keep saying, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Because I don't want to be claiming that I've done something that I've not done correctly. Now let's have a little bit of a look at it from a bit of a gap. Doesn't look as nice as it used to do. Not with the old system. In fact, that looks fairly hideous. Um, anyway. So we've got one, two, and three. Then the second line splits down into that. I mean, there's no reason to split it other than it coming out neatly there. I'm actually wanting to get rid of that tiny bit of belt off the end. If I get rid of the stacker. You're not going to let me, are you? I mean, this one's probably the same, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have to deal with it. It'll be fine. Um, where did I just delete this? Stackers from there and there. That's fine. Good. Right, let's hook these machines up. Let's hook these sheens up, is what I nearly said. What's a sheen? Yeah, it does look a little bit of an eyesore, but if it does what I want it to do, then I don't care. I could even get the um, the connecting belts on the other side if I wanted to keep it looking pretty from the outside. It is an idea, is it not? Oh, I forgot power and everything. I forgot power and everything. In fact, I can start from this end. We know we've got a nice even 10. So, you are going to go there and then. We've got to do the um, outward band as well. Please let me through. This is why you put power in and do the um, recipes before. You know what? Let's go this way around. It's loads easier. And I'm all for easy. Stutter. You and you. I'm fairly sure thinking about it, I did the reinforced iron plates wrong the first time because the maths for these should be the same, but it seems different. I don't know. And then we just hook it up to the national grid. Twitch, I'm fairly sure I've been doing it right on the middle. And you go that away, you go that away. So they are now producing. Let's go get ourselves some mergers in them. <clears throat> And then we can essentially call this episode a day. And I'm very nearly at normal time. Go me. Go me. You're centralised. Yes. Good. Just wanted to make sure before we start going all the way down. And get you in there. You in there. 
Beautiful. Just one second. I've got to concentrate while I'm doing this. Cannot multitask. I am male, and apparently we can't do that. <clears throat> cool. So let's get this hooked up to the bus, and then that's um, that's it for this episode. It was a fairly easy one. It seemed fairly easy anyway. And next episode, we are going to be looking into sorting out our steel beams next. Now, we're not really using much of them, and I'm fairly sure we were only using them for belts, which we no longer require. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> they're a bit obsolete, but I don't know if they're going to be needed in anything further down the line for alternate recipes or anything like that. So we want to get it to our Mark IV standard that we've been trying to go for. Because it is a basic... Oh, I can't afford. That's a shame. Well, I'll do the last bit off camera then, so I'm not running back to get them. Show you that. You know what's going to happen. So, that is one rotor per second for my maths. Again, please let me know if I'm wrong. But the way I've done this now, it should fill up from the end and then start stacking back up. I think. Like I say, let me know. Either way, that is it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more other than that. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!